Upon assuming office, the Patriotic Front undertook various infrastructure projects, especially in the newly created districts. Local contractors were engaged as part of the empowerment of the local expertise. But some local contractors have been accused of working below par, and in some instances, they have abandoned some projects. The Ministry of Works and Supply appeared before the Parliamentary Accounts Committee, and these are some of the queries that were raised. He's asking, do you have oppression, or is it just something that you yourselves, in the ministry, uh, have given yourselves for whatever reason? Tell us, we want to know. And remember, Captain, contractor, a contractor refusing to take instructions, consultant, and even an officer, one of the witnesses. Instructs a, a, you know, a contractor to come and attend, uh, you know, such meetings. The contractor refuses. And head off. Are we really in control? Are you in control? The other day we had uh, a witness putting the blame on works and supply. That's why they are engaging uh, their own, you know, the line ministry. They are engaging their own engineers, and yet that's no mandate. Even before the land was acquired, because we know that in some cases there were rambles between the kids. Why would they give it money, government money, even before the, the land was acquired for the project? The Parliamentary Accounts Committee has cautioned government against engaging non-performing local contractors. Park in member Europe, Vitalis Moya has noted that the country has continued to lose a lot of money because of engagement of non-performers. We can't continue like this. We can't develop the country. There's a lot of money. We are losing a lot of money here. It seems the system chair has collapsed and we can't continue like this. We are losing a lot of revenue here. What's the way forward? Seems we have a problem. Do, do, do you have pressure you know, from somewhere? Political pressure maybe. What's the way forward? How can we stop this? We are losing a lot of money. Mumbwa Central Lawmaker Dr. Branchituo stated that the issue of local contractors should be taken seriously. Can the contra controller please advise us on these advance payments? What is going to deal with how he's going to deal with the issues. Uh, are we going to get this money back? And how is government going to benefit with these, uh, some of which are delayed works? Uh, and the sure park chairperson, Gertrude Emenda, has questioned the Ministry of Works and Supply over its reluctance to deal with the non-performers. He's asking, do you have oppression? Or is it just something that you yourselves in the ministry they have given themselves for whatever reason. Tell us, we want to know. And remember, Captain. Provinces to identify their, their fellow contractors who are doing more so that we immediately, uh, immediately single source those contractors who are doing more. It, it is working very well. As I said earlier on, we had made this provision. You can't give out 108, mostly to people who have not even done it. Others, we encourage them. They, we called all the 108 the Minister of uh, Works and Supply, addressed them, giving them reasons why we had given them contracts, despite some of them not even having the, the experience. All of them were urged to employ qualified uh, engineers to help them, qualified bricklayers, and those who listen to advice have done, uh, have done well. So the systems have not collapsed. We still uh, follow the same procedures.